Hey guys, have a quick overview of uh, Eclair 2.1 ROM on the Click. Uh, not going to review this because it's not officially out, so this is actually just a, uh, uh, it's a, it's a leaked ROM. I guess they're testing it out. Uh, so let's get into it. Uh, as you can see, right from the lock screen, it doesn't have that uh, sound on, mute button, or slider. Uh, it just has the unlock. Um, home screen looks, at first glance at least, it looks pretty similar to you know, standard blur. But then you notice that the, the page indicators on the bottom actually are from the Droid X and you can just tap on them sorry and uh, you can just tap on them and go to a different page um, and actually you can just slide through them as well which is a lot easier than just going to you know sliding manually obviously um, just approved this is the 2.1 ROM I'm just gonna go to settings real quick I'm um, going to go about phone and there you have it. System version blur. I'm not sure if you can see that. Blur version 2.0 and then firmware version 2.1 update 1. Alright. Now, uh, I do notice a little bit of a speed enhancement on this over uh, the old version. Nothing too drastic. I mean, it's just a little bit snappier. Uh, you will notice some lag while opening the drawer, which is now uh, it, it looks a little bit different, I guess. Um, as you probably just saw there a second ago, there's a little bit of lag. Uh, it does come preloaded with some apps like the Telenav, GPS, uh, Phone Portal, which I have no idea what it does. It's, I guess it's something that they're going to bundle software for your computer uh, to sync applications and contact information. Um, Google Maps is working on this. Um, I did notice that there is a glitch though that every time you check not to be notified again because it tells you don't obviously use this app while you're driving, uh, it'll keep asking you uh, when you try to go somewhere I'll, I'll I'll put this see it, it just came up again even though I checked it to not show this actually you know what I'm sorry I says show this message next time so I've been checking that not reading properly so I uh, just keep that unchecked and obviously it won't pop up again um, widgets can be resized as I'll show you right here uh, some widgets at least this one it's a weather widget it's you can resize it to a smaller version. Uh, I think I've been a little bit smaller than that, I believe. Um, uh, yep, you can go smaller. Uh, the music app has actually been remade as well for this version, and it's actually pretty neat because it uses Tune Wiki to look up the lyrics to all your songs. So, for example. And it'll go along with the song, so it's actually pretty neat. Um, it doesn't recognize some songs, for example, any Red Hot Chili Pepper song. For some reason, it just doesn't recognize. Uh, but for the most part, I haven't had that many issues with it. Um, you know, obviously the market is, you know, 2.1 market, so it's you get to see previews to the apps or little pictures. No, little preview there, kind of like on the App Store for iPhone. Uh, I mean, there, there's not really much of a difference. Um, it is very stable. I would definitely, you know, use this daily until the official one comes out. Uh, but I've also heard the official one is only about two or three weeks away, so you, you know, you can hold out for it. Um, the how-to tutorial of how to get this ROM on your phone is, I'll put a link on it 
at the bottom, but uh, I got the tutorial from Click and Droid, and he has an excellent video tutorial on how to get this onto your uh, Click. Um, it's it's a decent decent ROM. Um, you know, I was actually expecting something a little bit snappier, but it is a first generation Android phone, so it's understandable. And it's at least nice to see that it did get the 2.1 update, unlike uh, the Samsung Behold, which has pretty much the same features or same uh, hardware specs, uh, but only is getting upgraded to 1.6. So uh, this is nice to see that Motorola actually put some effort into it. Um, again, I like the page indicator. Uh, I think that's a nice touch and something that um, yeah I wasn't really expecting to see. Um, let's see what else I can show you guys. Um, it also has a built-in task manager, uh, so it'll calculate what what apps it believes is taking too much uh, memory and right now it's running a diagnostics uh, and as you can see my CPU RAM is up to 91% it'll, it'll turn red when it thinks it's too high obviously uh, but obviously this is you know well, it dropped down to 44 now but um, it, a little indicator will come up here saying notifying you how much that it, it's pretty much close to full memory capacity, so you should probably uh, terminate some apps that are running in the background. Um, I mean, that's really about it. Uh, n nothing too drastic has been changed, obviously. I'll show you some widgets. Let me go to a blank page. Uh, unfortunately, Motorola did decide to do what HTC has done with their uh, skins and separate their widgets from Android widgets as well as downloaded widgets. Uh, so I'll go to Motorola widgets. Um, I'll show you some neat ones, I guess, real quick. Weather, I've already shown you. Uh, social status, photo widget, all remain the same, as well as news. Uh, GPS, uh, actually, the only one I think that's new is the, the music player. And I believe calendar is also a new widget. Um, It so it takes up the whole thing. So it it it, it is a nice feature. Uh, definitely not something that. Oops, sorry, we got to resize this down. All right. Uh, they have some nice features in this ROM. Again, definitely stable enough to use for daily usage. Uh, camera works. Uh, didn't really pay attention on the last ROM whether there's a significant change to the camera, but uh. Works good. Cam camcorder works as well. Uh, browser. I was on Craigslist, everybody's favorite website. Uh, there is no pinch to zoom in this build, and I'm guessing that it there, it won't be available in the official build as well. It might be a hardware limitation, uh, but see no pinch to zoom. Uh, it does have the nice double tap feature where it'll just zoom out to the whole web page. Um, speeds do seem to be a little faster. I don't know if that's, and I'm on edge right now, so it might be the web page is just simple to load. Um, but I'll go to a different website for you guys. The keyboard has actually been redone as well. It's not the standard black keyboard. It's now uh, white, kind of iPhone-ish. Um, Still very difficult to type on this keyboard, but uh, let's see. I'm on edge, by the way. I'm not sure if you can see. That's the E. Sorry, it's not the best quality, but all right. Well, it loaded the mobile version of Engadget, um, and you know, it it it's uh, it's good. The browser does seem to be a little bit quicker in loading up web pages, but. Uh, it's very unfortunate, no pinch to zoom. Um, I mean, that's really about it. If you have any questions, definitely leave them in the comments, and I'll definitely try to get back to you.